for rack are you still chunking your data simply based on chunk size well there are smarter ways that you can make context aware chunking that significantly enhance the performance of your rag applications then let's go Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, let's start with what challenge we are going to resolve before we dive into the solution. So these are typical problems that we face of when we have just vanilla chunking or we naively chunk our text as is. This is actually an article uh, developed by DSTAR and they have implemented the solution. So before I go to the code, and run it for you, I want to make sure first we understand the process and what we're trying to tackle. So the challenge is when we just go with as is chunking our PDF files or documents for RAG applications, there's a greater chance that some of the irrelevant chunks will come to the prompt as well. And it might cause the LLM to get confused, or we might have some hallucinations. Here are just a couple of scenarios that has been mentioned by DSTAR about potential challenges that we have when we, we are not aware of the context of the chunk and we just uh, cut them out as is. So, for example, some chunking might be splitted and it will cause mid-thought. That means you suddenly at the middle of a context, you drop the text and it will again mislead the LRM to understand the whole context. So what is they're proposing is instead of just naively chunking the data as is, we can have two approaches. First of all, we're going to add some information to each chunk, something like header or something like summary, to tell each chunk that where this chunk is coming from and what does it include, what is the summary of the segment that this chunk is coming from. And talking about segment, what is segment? So first, DSTAR suggests that we need to create segments of our files and documents and segment is not something already exists in the original data let's say you have a book you will create 10 20 30 40 segments by llm which talks about the different contexts and components of your document for example section one section two section three and these sections contextually they have different topic or, or context that's what we call it segment so when you're retrieving chunks if we tell LLM where, which segment this chunk is coming from and what is that header or summary now our chunk is more informative and by the way the star also suggests if for example 10 chunks are selected and retrieved for going to to the prompt for answering user question maybe eight of them are relevant and two of them are not relevant but if we also bring irrelevant parts if they're coming from the same segment that will help llm to understand the whole story even that a specific chunk by itself maybe is not too relevant but it will give the whole end-to-end -end story to llm but making sure we're bringing from the same segment so that's why first they bring a document into multiple sections by LLM and you need to do it and they will add those contextual information to a chunk like this. And for going through that, let me show you in the code and how we can do it. So this is the code sample that I ran. I will add the code reference I use in the video description below. There's a Discord channel link. You go there and there's a reference section in Discord channel. You will see the, the link to this code. Firstly, pip install DSRack. This is the start implementation for that project I just told you. And obviously you need to import some stuff that we're going to use for this sample. We're going to use OpenAI as we need this LLM here. And this sample use coherence is another LLM provider. So you need to have that key as well, but it's not a must to have. This is their default choice by DSRAC. And I added the key, I run the code and I remove before I record in this video. And what they use in the sample, they are using Nike 2023 annual report and just this code is loading this PDF and taking a look at a portion of that seems to be correct and we have the document properly loaded and here it is. 
Now we have a knowledge database created by DSRAC that do all those stuff that I told you, which is creating sections and creating headers. And you can also create summaries for a chunk. All right, so to give you an example, here is my um, chunks that I'm going to load. And I'm, let's say, printing chunk zero that I created after uh, using the chunking methodology from DSRAC, which I have in total. 533 chunks added to the database and by the way if you ask me what is this database this is open source and this is using my local directory to use it as a storage to host my vector database and here's the chunk as you can see it has not only the text but also it has the section title but what is the section sections are created by DSRAC to print all the sections you will see that these are the sections of my document that are not originally exist in my PDF, but DSRAC captured them. So each chunk will also have the information of which section it's coming from. Think about it. It's like we are giving LLM a zoom out view of the chunk when we bring it instead of just bringing chunk by itself, which LLM doesn't have any clue about the end to end story of what's going on. All right. So these are the sections that we printed. Moving forward here, what I'm going to do, I am using a function here that use Cohere uh, re-rank ranking model that I just told you about with the key we provided to rank the relevancy of each chunk versus a query that we're going to ask. So query is my question from Bragg technically that we're going to discuss, right? All right. So here, let's say my query is Nike operating segment results. That's a question that I have. And obviously, I want to print the document and index that is relevant that we're going to parse. So here's an example back to me. Now we want to see without the SRAC approach, how much this chunk is relevant to the query and also after the uh, DSR approach, how much is relevant. This is technically what we are doing. You will see that with adding this contextual header to the trunk, which DSRAC does, the similarity score has a considerable difference compared to when we didn't have that contextual information in header, which is now dropped to 0 0.72. So that means we are capturing more relevancy and when we are adding those information to which is the header and in the title of the section that is trunk is coming from. All right, in order to plot all the index that we had and to see how much they're similar to the query that we asked, this is a good example. You will see that, interestingly, majority of my chunks are not relevant to the question. This is the relevancy score. But indexes around 400, let's say 398, 99, 441, 42, which is here, this is the majority of the chunks that are relevant to my query right now this is perfect what we can do we can set up a threshold to say that chunks below this score shouldn't be included in my rack so that's what this code does there's a irrelevant chunk penalty that we divide that we, we minus that from the scores to actually make it a negative positive for unrelevant irrelevant and relevant chunks to make sure we just grab the relevant chunks based on the, the threshold that we specify here and as you can see, here are the, the segment text that we have captured based on the score that we have specified on the top. And if we zoom out to this section that we have the clustered uh, relevant chunks to the query, this is the plot. Interestingly, you see that majority of these chunks, they have a good similarity score, like above 0 0.4, which is great but we still have some chunks that are not relevant well they are relevant but the similarity score is low it's because we have now that contextual information we are bringing even some low score similarities to the prompt as well because maybe they don't have the information directly for our query but they will give the end-to-end -end story to LLM what is the context that we are asking question not just what is the chunk we are asking the question and if we base on this approach now here we are printing all the relevant chunks that we have so i didn't go through the details but obviously they are relevant to the question that has been asked there all right so 
technically what I just explained they they capture that in this article as well I will add this link as well in the video description if you want to check this out but long story short the idea is instead of naive chunking you can go with contextual chunking headers added and also making segments out of your reference documents and add it to as a header to your chunk and even sometimes summaries as they noted here as well and for doing so you don't need to you can start with open source ds star implementation that i just ran it and i think as they noted in the report it will increase up the performance of your rag applications versus naive chunking that was all about this video if you enjoyed i would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you write down your comments compensating for something that you have lost due to silence is much easier than compensating for something you have lost due to speech dream big my friends believe in yourself and take action till next video take care